National nonprofit is working locally to bring back a species which was once filling the skies here over South Texas. Nueces County teaming up with that nonprofit to bring the project back to the island. And our Greg Chandler joins us live in the studio with more to talk about the species that they're trying to bring back, Greg. Yeah, Katya, we're talking about Aplomado falcons, and until the 1950s, they were plentiful in South Texas. And their numbers had been recovering lately, but that was before Hurricane Harvey. We felt we needed to speed up maybe their recovery a little bit. That's why the Peregrine Fund brought six baby Aplomado falcons to Padre Island. Declared endangered in 1986, Aplomados were bouncing back with South Texas playing a major role. Then Hurricane Harvey hit. Hurricane Harvey that took out 60% breeding pairs on Matagorda and St. Joe's Islands. We lost 10 pairs in one night, and those are adults, those are the breeders, so that was a really a, a catastrophic hit to the population. Those 10 pair were more than half of the area's 18. The Peregrine Fund worked with Nueces County's Coastal Parks Department You're gonna make sure the box didn't blow off. and found a spot on Padre Island just over the county line. This Clayburg land we have out here, the natural beauty of it, it's just, it's perfect you know, for what we want to do. The Peregrine Fund built two new hack boxes, elevated nests designed to keep the falcon safe. They're we're super nice, so yeah. that's just how we like them. This week, they brought the baby birds to their new home. We're putting them in their hack boxes where they'll grow till about the end of August, and by that time, they've got to Independence and they can fly. See y'all later. For the most part, the Aplomados will be fine on their own, but a pair of Peregrine Fund babysitters will be close by, keeping an eagle-eyed view on the young falcons. Those guys are gonna spend the summer with these birds. They feed them, take notes on the birds, monitor their, their uh, pro progression. And when they're ready, these babies will leave the nest and fly on their own. And if the babies thrive and are successful, the Peregrine Fund says bringing baby Aplomados here could end up being an annual thing. Meanwhile, the county plans to build an observation deck nearby so that the public can get a better look at them. In the studio, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.